Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to go take the GTR and get it weighed. Now it might come in a little bit lighter because it has this beautiful Meistershaft exhaust that we installed on it, but really nice kit, and you can see how much lighter it's going to be without any of the catalytic converters or mufflers or anything like that. So here's what it sounds like, uh, just a little enjoyment for the trip over there. And uh, anyway, we'll take it over and see how much it weighs. A lot of People discredit the GTR for being a heavier car, but you have to remember by today's standards what is heavy and what is actually standard. Uh, this car having all-wheel drive, it is weighed down a little bit, and uh, so it's understandable that uh, it's going to have a little extra weight, but that weight comes in handy when you're on street tires. Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we went and weighed the GTR at the CAT scale. So we're curious to see how much it weighed. It was sitting at under a quarter of a tank, so pretty low on fuel. And so the official weight that this car came back, and it's virtually stock other than a different set of wheels on it, but it was 3840 pounds is what it came out to. So it's not light, but by today's standards, it's really not heavy either considering Hellcat's over 4,000 pounds, the new GT500's over 4,000 pounds. And so um, I think the V6 and the turbo setup helps with the weight of this car quite a bit when you add the supercharger system and everything and that uh, the other American cars have, that's where you start adding in a lot of weight. There you go. So there you have it. Uh, obviously a little bit heavier with that all-wheel drive, but you'll sure love that all-wheel drive when you need it. <laughs> So thanks for watching and I'll put a playlist in the description of all the other videos I've made on this GTR as well as a playlist for the videos of all the other cars we've weighed. So thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe.